home and I felt like low-key a failure in this moment. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Here we go. I am in the exact same clothes, the exact same makeup, lip, everything. It's day two, y'all, of this process of figuring out what is going to be the best way for kinkier textures to get a beautiful roller set without having to get a relaxer. Because let's let's be real here. There was a reason why people back in the day were getting relaxers and then a roller set. Because if you have a relaxer, ideally, you would just need to roller set it and go, truly. But because most of us are natural these days, we have to add some tweaks an extra couple extra steps in the process in order to get that beautiful result and longevity because we also realize that our hair will revert back real quick and that's something that I've experienced as I've been testing out different products and things on my own hair with my roller sets and even after yesterday when we weren't completely satisfied with how Miranda's hair came out it was beautiful and she loved her hair she told us that first but you know it's like she needed her ends trimmed we also probably didn't use enough leave-in conditioner to give her hair a bit of weight beforehand and there are some other things that we were like okay we can do certain things differently because we're in this experimental phase right now like we're experimenting with what works what doesn't work and obviously i know my hair type but i've never used a lot of these products or any of these products on somebody who had a hair type like Miranda. So we are in our experimenting phase. Like I said, we have been talking this morning, Simone, my sister, who y'all know, my twin, who is also a, sorry y'all, there was a lot of wind in that for a little bit. We all thought, okay, we're gonna get together on this day and we'll get the stylist, you know, together, get them like kind of situated and familiar with roller setting and then we'll do uh, models hair and then we'll do your hair Jade and like we'll film all the marketing content and everything that da, da, da. we had all these very lofty plans for yesterday <laughs> but you know things happen like real life happens and you realize okay we actually need to spend more time here more time there and so yesterday we were able to get a lot of like marketing content which was great I got all the photos I need to get uh, I got a lot of video that I needed to get and obviously you guys saw the video yesterday and today is day two of all of that but what we realized as we were starting was our stylists weren't as prepared to roll as we thought they would be because you learn how to roller set in school but it's really not something that is like harped on if that makes sense or like spent a lot of time on and a lot of people these days are roller setting like and, and and what I didn't realize was like my you know months and months of doing it on my own and like learning and watching videos and everything showed because I didn't realize how much I knew until I was standing up against a couple people that hadn't been regularly roller setting and it's not even a skill thing it's a just do you do this on a day-to-day -day basis is this your specialty and for me, I can't lie. I'm a type A. If I see somebody else do it well, I know I can do it well. And I push myself to a level of excellence that like is not necessarily a normal thing. But I've also had a lot more time than they have like to be able to spend doing this. And so really, Rosemary, our salon owner, she is incredible at doing natural hair, silk presses, her installs, like wig installs, her like sew-ins and stuff are phenomenal. Like this girl got skills, right? And so does her team. But when you aren't used to rolling hair up like a roller set, you know, you need some time to, to get in the rhythm of it. So that took a little bit more time than we expected to just like get the hang of like rolling the hair and my friend Miranda who was our model I chose her not just because she's my friend and my sister okay but because I wanted to show a totally different hair texture up against what I think works for my hair and that's the thing just because the method works for me doesn't mean it's gonna work for everybody 
And so I really wanted to take this time before we do the actual event to practice on different hair types and really learn about how to achieve the best result for everybody as much as we possibly can. We are not looking for absolute perfection because that would be, that would be so like such a high expectation that like low key wouldn't be realistic. Okay. We want to be realistic, but we also want to like challenge ourselves to like really reach for our best. And so when we were kind of uh, discussing what products we were using yesterday, how much product, we had to go through really all that stuff and we didn't want to rush it. So I got back to the salon and we basically started where we left off yesterday, which was to just wet my hair to actually roller set my hair. So I chatted with another stylist today. She wasn't there yesterday. So I kind of talked her through the products that we were going to try to use today and just some other general tips that I like to keep in mind whenever I'm doing a roller set. And then I actually started showing her how to roll. And so she had actually mentioned that she used to do her mom's hair like this back when she was younger. And I feel like a lot of people have this story of like, we used to do roller sets when we were younger or on our sisters, our moms, but it had been a really long time since we actually did it ourselves. So I talked her through some good technique kind of habits and just like how to do this effectively and efficiently, because that's the other thing. We have to have a good speed to when we're rolling hair because you don't want the hair to dry up on you first off. And second off, we don't wanna be in here all day. So we gotta start day one learning how to do this effectively and efficiently. So by this point, this was the last step of my process that we did. She did an incredible job. I was actually not impressed with my hair today. <laughs> no, no fault to her, but it was actually me. Like I was like, this was the first time I ever did a roller set in a salon and my hair did not come out the way that it does at home. And I felt like low key a failure in this moment. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I was very like kind of disheartened because I was like, man, I've literally used my own products my own process and everything and it's not doing what it usually does at home i don't know where did we go wrong and i have some ideas as to where we went wrong so we're going back to the drawing board and i will see y'all in my next video when we try to figure this out again